so I got everything out it's about seven o'clock tonight and I'm letting them catch a little bit of the evening sun I I had to work today so uh, this is about the best I could do had to be in at nine in the morning and I just wasn't up in time so I got everything out and I got everything staked up so I'm actually halfway thinking about letting them stay out overnight um, I'm debating on whether to plant tomorrow or to plant Sunday I was worried about rain Sunday but it's actually gonna be a 20 percent chance of rain so I might actually still get to do it but everything's looking good they're getting they're getting some wind that's why I went ahead and staked them up and the stocks are actually starting to get a little bit better the captain lucky he's he's needing to be transplanted so uh, actually putting them in the dirt would do some good and then the the early Siberian is it's still pretty leggy at the bottom but everything's nice and thick at the top so I'm I'm thinking it's it's going to be doing a lot better if I get it good and deep. And then of course the brandy wine seduth right there, it could definitely use being planted, and it needs to strengthen up a little bit. The OSU blue, yeah, it's it's still pretty leggy at the bottom. It's pretty much leggy all through all all throughout the plant. The double rich here it's I can't I can't say anything bad about it it's doing great and that's actually the one that I've been given the insect frass to so all that all that stuff on the top of the soil all that there that's that's all insect frass and it's putting out like a beast and I actually saw some flowers starting to form on it the other day but yeah, I'm not gonna worry about them right now. And the basil, basil smells great still. I can't believe it's still in that pot. <laughs> and then my daytill peppers. Both these peppers right here are the daytill. And this one's actually starting to put out some stems where the leaves fell off. So it's doing pretty good got a bug on it and this one's starting to put out some stems there too so it's looking pretty good the black from Tula they're doing great since I've moved this this Greek pepperoni out here it's it's actually started picking up as far as the, the stem getting stronger so the winds really been helping more than more than my flicking method and this is the this is the yeah, cherry bombs and you can see there's a couple flowers there a couple flowers there a couple more flowers there and there it's it's going crazy and I, I just went ahead and quit cutting the flowers off and just I'm letting them go I'm ready for some peppers and the purple bell pepper it's it's doing about the same thing and I've I've never never cut any flowers off of it yet and they're just all piled up there on the top sorry it might be a little blurry but I gotta bring it close to the lens so you can see it and the scorpion pepper it's still doing decent in that small pot hasn't started putting out any extra stems or anything but it's doing good and it'll do even better once it gets transplanted and then my other double rich what I'm calling my true double rich it's got a I got a good leggy tomato plant here and I think that'll pick up once it gets transplanted into the ground and then this this one here the basically the first plant that sprouted 
it's doing great it's got a good thick stock on it you know I don't even have it attached to the pole I just got the pole catching it in case it blows it over because the small dish likes to blow over and this Brandywine Seduth it's not doing so great the uh, TP roll trick didn't turn out to be what I thought it would be I haven't seen any any roots popping out of the TP roll take you into it so you can get a better look but when I go to plant it I'm gonna peel that tape back and we'll see how to see if it put any roots out all through here and then my yellow pear cherry tomato has been doing pretty decent outside it it was pretty leggy at, at first and I had a little bit more dirt to the soil it's doing a lot better the OSU blue it was actually leaning over when I first started bringing it out and it's kinda kinda bucked up and started growing upward and holding itself up better and check out this uh, this uh, stake I, I used the pole I used last year it's kind of bent from holding a beef steak up because I grew a huge pretty pretty big beef steak and so I had I had to go ahead and put it on my beef steak for this year so it's it's holding its second beef steak and there you can see that's the beef steak so I don't know I've just just rambling now but the Brandywine Seduth, it's it's still leggy on the bottom, but up towards the top, it's it's doing a little bit better, and it's keep it in focus. It's actually starting to put out a sucker, and then I got flowers coming on too. And next up is the other Captain Lucky. And it's it's not doing quite as good as the other one. It's still got a small stock here, but it's it's doing a lot better up here towards the top. So I'm I'm pretty sure that once I get all this all this stuff down into the ground, I'm gonna plant it good and deep. It'll it'll start doing better up here. Sorry, I'm having a hard time with the camera. And last but not least, because I got plenty more in the in the green room, is the pink ox heart. And it's it's not looking so great, but it's been stuffed in the corner and not really getting a whole lot of light. So I think it's actually loving being outside. And I kind of got it tied up a little bit. I really am thinking about leaving them out overnight. The low is supposed to be about 53 degrees. So that should do everything pretty good. But anyway, that's the update on hardening off my plants. And hopefully I'll get to shoot again this weekend when I, when I plant them, if I plant them. I'm pretty sure I will. So have a great day.